Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Sunday, July 7th, and uh, looking around the Atlantic, uh, as we expected in the western Gulf of Mexico, this surface trough is really not uh, a threat for development and is pretty strung out. We'll just bring a batch of heavy rains into the Louisiana and Texas coastlines, not likely to make it very far inland, unfortunately, for those who are still in drought, uh, but this will be raking the coastline at least with some storms over the next 24 to 48 hours. And again, we have an upper low with a tropical wave moving into it here. This is coming west into the Gulf of Mexico, but it's not really a threat for development. And uh, last but certainly not least, in fact, our most interesting system is Invest 95L out here in the Central Atlantic. You can see a little bit of spin with it, and the NHC has now upped this to a high chance for development during the next two days. If we zoom in on this system here, you can see that there's a little bit of a spin to it at the end of the loop here. You can see this little bit of a spiral. And uh, if we look at the ASCAT satellite pass earlier detecting surface winds, you can see that it had winds bending like this. So a very sharp trough here. But notice that there are no westerly wind barbs on the south side on this pass, indicating that this little lobe of spin here is not closed off fully. It does not have westerly winds on the south side. So this can't be called a tropical depression or storm just yet. It is getting close, though, and that's why the NHC has it at a high chance. However, I want to emphasize again, as we talked about yesterday, that this system has a lot of struggles uh, that it will have to deal with as it comes westward and is not really likely to strengthen a whole lot. Uh, what we can see right now just from the satellite image is uh, this band of cloud uh, wrapping into the northwestern side of the system. This is moist air to its east, but this is dry African air to the north uh, coming down with the trade winds. And you can see some of this wrapping around um, into the western side of the system. And this is probably contributing to why these thunderstorms here are rather scanty and weak, not very widespread, not very strong. And uh, unless they strengthen soon, it's going to be hard to hold the surface circulation together because as it's coming west northwest here, notice what's going on. See where it's come from. It came from over here. Notice that the winds, the trade winds are fairly light. The low level clouds that you see here are not moving very fast. Once you get over here, notice how fast these clouds are moving from east to west. There is a much faster trade wind flow here. This system is moving rapidly towards that area. And once it makes it there, uh, it's going to be very hard for the surface circulation to hold together because in a fast flow, it's very hard to get a closed ro rotary circulation with winds on the south side coming out of the west because it's moving so fast. And the system is already moving at about 25 to 30 miles per hour due to fast mid-level winds. So it's already having trouble. And once it gets over here, it's just going to be even harder for it to hold together. So unless it gets a big thunderstorm burst over the center during the next 12 hours, it's probably going to um, either fall apart uh, before making it to the Lesser Antilles, or it's going to um, at least stay weak. If it does get named by the NHC later today or tonight, um, I doubt it will have uh, an opportunity to get stronger than a minimal strength tropical storm before reaching the Lesser Antilles. Uh, so as uh, we talked about, uh, probably not a big worry for the folks in here. It'll probably be a fairly routine strong tropical wave or weak tropical tropical storm uh, once it gets to this region. Anything stronger than that will be hard to attain uh, because once it gets towards the Eastern Caribbean here, the trade winds speed up even more. And this is the typical graveyard for uh, tropical systems that are weak coming in. Uh, once they get in here, it's very hard to strengthen. And many actually fall apart because the, straight, the trade winds strengthen as you go west, uh, which causes surface divergence, which causes air to sink on top of the storm. And that's not healthy for it. However, uh, this will have perhaps another opportunity once it gets up towards Cuba and the Bahamas area in about five days. Uh, that is when it will start slowing down in forward speed and be brought north by a trough coming into the southeastern U.S. And it may have another chance uh, to become something stronger than it currently is. Uh, this is the European out to day four. Um, right here you can see our system an open wave on the model this is the 12z run uh, north of hispaniola really not much to see here the european does not develop 95l ever this is the gfs um, out at day five the colors are 500 millibar height and the uh, black lines are the isobars uh, showing sea level pressure you can see the bent the kinked isobar here indicating 95l coming into the bahamas so it's right here at day five and you can see an upper level trough uh, in the lighter yellow and orange here digging down into the southern US and so this is going to bring this north towards the Carolinas on the model and then by day six you can see this low cutting off over the Tennessee Valley and 95L would be somewhere in here. 
Now in a situation like this, uh, there's several things that could happen. The details are hard to define six days out um, and timing will be critical. Um, if 95L arrives quickly like this into the trough, uh, in a situation like this where the trough is backing to the west away from a tropical system coming out from the south, that's a situation where things can develop. Um, but if it's too close to the upper low, it could get sheared, and that's the problem with this situation. Also, the flow is from south to north, and so if 95L is too weak coming into this area, it will just open up into a wave like it does here on the GFS and become absolutely nothing and never develop. Um, however, the, the Canadian has a stronger system coming into the Bahamas. This would be a tropical storm. And if it is already this strong, having an upper low coming down and backing and retrograding towards the west with a storm coming up from the south is a situation where it would strengthen, and then the Canadian brings it into the Carolinas as a near hurricane. And the storm is fictitious and will never exist. Uh, the Canadian is notorious for uh, hyper-strengthening these systems beyond reality, um, but it is a nice gauge on the worst-case scenario, so you can see that at least one model does develop this, uh, but the other models do not, and they are more reliable. Uh, later on, after 95L, uh, the GFS shows uh, more waves coming off Africa. You have one, two, three showing up here at day 10, with the one over the Antilles actually developing on the GFS, and you have the European showing the same wave out in the Central Atlantic on the 12Z run at day 8, um, looking like it might develop on that run as well. So the bottom line is that the pattern we've been talking about for mid-July getting active in the central part of the Atlantic, east of the Lesser Antilles, earlier than normal this year, the African wave train is getting getting ready to go, and uh, 95L is probably the first in a long line of these things that are going to be coming out over the Atlantic, so we're going to have to watch much more than just this system before this month is over, I feel. So uh, for the Lesser Antilles, consider this a warm-up. Make sure you are prepared. Consider this a foreshadowing of what is likely to come later this season. I think you guys are in for a lot of strong waves this year, uh, several of which may actually be storms or hurricanes uh, when they come your way. This one is not likely to be very strong. Um, it may get named by the NHC and become Tropical Storm Chantal uh, during the next day or two, but it is unlikely uh, to be any more than a weak storm as it comes through the Northern Antilles. And then later on in its life, it might get another opportunity to develop closer to the Bahamas or farther north uh, later on. Uh, but we will keep an eye on that uh, during the next several days. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.